Hey guys, it's Matt. Um, tonight I'm going to do a video for one of my uh, blogs. It's called TuckyNotes.net. And uh, I want to see if Windows 8 is actually faster than Windows 7 and by how much. Um, I want to see if it's um, actually worth it to buy that $40 upgrade. Because really, when Windows 8 comes down to it, um, a lot of people say it's faster than Windows 7. Or a lot of the... Uh, promotional uh, Microsoft material out there said that. So I'm going to be using a free utility called Boot Racer um, on techynotes.net. You can see I wrote like a little uh, short little post on how to actually use Boot Racer. Boot Racer, all it does is it's a free tool. You install it. Um, it tells you how long your computer takes to boot up and log into your desktop. That's basically it. So you can use this to, uh, if you were in, uh, let's say you were in corporate IT like I am, you could put together a computer completely ready to go, um, ready to image, and get it as fast as possible, and test that speed out with Boot Racer to make sure that you're actually making a difference in all the changes you're making to the OS. So that's a good little, uh, good little tool for you know seeing how long it takes for something to boot and and also when you actually optimize your computer to boot fast you're also going to have a faster uh run time as well so the whole thing's going to stay up and running faster as well so let's get right into it um i have two computers here i have a windows 8 and i have a windows 7 both have one processor and 4 gigabytes of ram so we'll go ahead and uh boot windows 7 here And Boot Racer has already been installed, so um, there's really not much to the install. You just double click it, uh, go through a couple set of prompts, and it installs. Uh, it immediately asks you if you want to do a reboot and test your speed. So I've kind of already done that. It's nothing, um, nothing that I recorded. It's nothing crazy, so. Um, I should also mention that Boot Racer does not take uh, into account like h how slow you type your password or how fast you do. Um, these two particular virtual machines have no passwords, so they will log right in. And um, I don't remember if I actually told Boot Racer to. Um, Try test? Yeah, I did actually. So it says Windows Boot is in progress and it gives you a second countdown here. So we're at a minute and six seconds, seven seconds, you know, and on and on and on. So I'm using Boot Racer version 4. That's probably one of my slowest boots for Windows 7 on my virtual machine. So it took. Uh, one minute, five seconds. If you click see why, it'll actually tell you. <clears throat> time to log on was 32 seconds. Time to desktop, 65 seconds. Um, so, didn't really have a password, so that was zero seconds. And overall, if you take a look at my boot speed rating as com compared to the uh, Boot Racer community thing they have there, I'm a three star. So. Anyway, we'll exit out of that, and we'll go ahead and close down Windows 7 now. So we'll just power off Windows 7. Okay, that's all powered off. So now we're going to try the same thing with Windows 8. This is all on the same piece of hardware, nothing's changed. So we get the little Windows 8, you know, loading screen here.
Now, I've heard reports that Windows 8 is 50% faster than Windows 7 on booting up. Um, let's see what happens here. Okay, so it's loading all that stuff, and then um, it's not counting how long it takes me to click this desktop thing. I already tested that last night, so it's already doing its calculation in the background. And the only thing running on these computers is just the actual OS and Windows Defender on each one of them. So it'll be interesting to um, to see uh, what how the speed change is when we load different commercial uh, antivirus packages, anti-malware packages. So so boot racer should pop up here in a second. And if it doesn't, I guess I forgot to. I for, probably forgot to do a test. Hang on a second. Whoops. Yeah, I forgot to do one. Let me try that again. Sorry, guys. I thought I had that nailed down, but uh, leave it to me to screw it up. So let's see. Okay, let's get pumped up here. So Windows 8 faster than Windows 7? By how many seconds? Or by what percentage? It's cool. I mean, Oprah likes it. <laughs> Oprah likes it so much, she tweeted it out from her iPad. <laughs> that was so funny. I just bought 10 surfaces and she tweeted that from her iPad. Oh boy. All right. Okay. Well, it's not 50% faster, I can tell you that much. It's about 10 seconds faster. Oh, no. Yeah. Eh, it's close to 10, 15, 20 seconds faster. That's probably one of the best um, boot times I've had recently, 53 seconds. Normally, it's around, like I said, oh, 101 or 102. And I think the Windows 7 was 114, so... Yeah, it's it's a couple of seconds faster, but not not 50% faster. So anyway, I just thought that was interesting. Um, so you can um, Windows 8 is highly optimized. I I took a look at uh, some of the things I normally do in Windows 7 to optimize or make Windows 7 run faster, and Microsoft's already done that. So they did a pretty good job with optimizing it. But it's nowhere it's nowhere as near as fast as they say it is. I mean. It's just a couple seconds faster boot wise, but who cares? So, I'm going to go ahead and exit out of that. Um, I thought there was something else I was going to say. I got so many videos in the can here, I'm getting confused now. Um, I think that's it. Well, I'm going to go ahead and upload this video, and um, I'm going to go ahead and post it on this site, you know, right below here on this uh, little post. So, this is one of my. One of my newer blogs, I have removed-malware.com, which is strictly anti-malware, and some people watching this are very familiar with uh, my work there. And then Techie Notes is just some of the things I encounter at work and uh, some some other uh, IT-related issues I encounter in residential uh, 
environments. So, anyway, thanks for watching. Um, I'm off uh, the rest of the week from my full time job, so I'll be cranking out some videos, doing some updates on some videos. So, um, I will talk to you guys later.